Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. It's been a few weeks, but we're back. And this week we're talking about LED tape and the Raspberry Pi. Mmm, pie. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So first of all, we've got my really fun DIY uh, LED tape controller box. I did not design this. I got the idea from a guy named Jordan Schultz on a Facebook uh, post. Um, he posted some pictures and went out and made my own. Uh, really, really cool idea and design by him. As you can see, it's basically um, all stuff you can just go out and buy yourself. It's a $6 plastic bin from Lowe's. Uh, and also from Lowe's, I got some um, like uh, bolts and washers and that kind of thing, some zip ties to put it all together. Um, but what's going on is on the inside of it, we've got a 24-channel uh, LED tape controller, so I can control eight separate strips, uh, a power supply to control that up, uh, to give that power, excuse me. Uh, on top, we've got a fan to keep everything cool. I've got a DMX in and out on the side, and then on the back, I've got a power switch with a fuse built into it, and, uh, and that powers everything up, and it works really well. If you see on the front, this is a great idea that Jordan had. He is actually using a Ethernet port, um, like a networking panel. Um, so this is a Cat6 panel that I'm using. Apart from the things I got from Lowe's, Everything is being wired up with Cat6, and uh, if you're not familiar with the inner workings of Cat6, it's got four pairs of cables on the inside of it, uh, and Cat6 is a little bit thicker than Cat5, so on top of it being thicker cable, I'm doing like Jordan did, and I'm soldering the pairs together into individual strands, and the way that connects to my tape, hopefully you can see this on the camera here, I made these little pigtails. On one end is a Cat6 connector um, that will plug into the panel here. As you can see, this one's plugged in. Uh, on the other end, underneath this electrical tape, I took my pairs, soldered them together, and then soldered them to this little bit of ribbon cable that is made for LED tape. And then finally, that goes to a strip-to-wire connector that I bought online. Uh, all this came from Amazon.com. And uh, the reason why I did it this way is because one, it makes it where you don't have to solder directly onto the LED tape. Uh, if you've ever had to do that, it's a pain. Uh, so in this case, you're just soldering wires together. Uh, it's a really solid connection. I've tried a few different kinds of connectors. This one works really well. Even though I'm not doing anything near water, I'm using the waterproof LED um, tape because then the silicon uh, on top kind of helps to give this some friction and keep it connected because this connector is made to work with that. Uh, so just plugs right in, good to go. And because there's no soldering to the tape, if you have a portable church and you need to change out a strip of tape over time, because it will, every once in a while you'll get a couple dead pixels, um, it's really easy. You don't have to you know, break out a soldering gun, unsolder and resolder. All you have to do is just pop this connector off, prepare another strip, push it on and you're good to go. So we're gonna switch over to a quick video for a moment and when we come back, I'm gonna show you the Raspberry Pi. Hey, hey, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. Did you know that as an Ascension member church, you have access to a brand new worship song with free backing tracks and chord charts every month? On top of that, you can get discounts on audio, video, and lighting needs. So if your church needs equipment, installation, training, or even just advice, contact me directly at sales at ascensionworship.com and we'd love to help you any way we can. So the next project I wanted to show you was this really cool thing called the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, hopefully you can see it okay on here. It is a tiny little micro computer or mini computer. Um, it was designed to be used to teach kids how to do programming. The Pi itself is very, very cheap. It's $35, and of course, then you need to add on some things like a power supply and an SD card, uh, but it's really, really cool. It's got four USB ports. It's got an Ethernet port. I'm on the, the normal Pi, the Pi 3, 
so it's really neat because you can use it for things like an ArtNet node. So that was the next thing I've been working on over the past few weeks is I wanted to be able to send more DMX channels, uh, especially for maybe churches that are uh, like kind of medium-sized church. They don't want to invest in a whole lot of hardware, but they want to use maybe a program like Champs' Magic Queue, which a lot of times will install, to have more control or to send things different directions. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with ArtNet. ArtNet is basically DMX over an Ethernet line. So what I've got right now, just to kind of show you proof of concept here. Uh, so we are using a really, really inexpensive DMX uh, dongle. So USB to DMX to our LED controller here. And then here's my ethernet cable. Champs' Magic Q is currently set up on my laptop, sending a pattern through. And you'll see once I connect this, it should take a little less than five seconds. And boom, there we go. Now we are sending a whole nother universe of lighting control uh, through the Raspberry Pi to the LED control box. So this opens up a lot of options for expandability in your church and uh, a lot of fun things you can do with it. Another cool thing that you can do with a Raspberry Pi when it comes to lighting is you can use a built-in uh, DMX controller uh, that you can install called QLC+. Plus. Unfortunately, not all lighting programs will install on the Raspberry Pi, but QLC is very cool and does some neat things that some of the other guys don't. One thing I really like is that it allows you to use a web interface and a customizable interface at that. So right now I've got QLC is controlling the Pi and sending DMX signals into my LED control box. I made this little custom grid of colors uh, hopefully you can see that on there. And through the wireless internet in the office, I can just click a color and control it on here. You can also do some patterns. So, uh, so here's like a little RGB cycle that you can go where you'll scroll through all the different colors and do some cool things. Uh, you have, in this case, I've got a master control on here. And I can even use, uh, I've got RGB uh, faders on here so I can make my own colors. Uh, you can customize it however you want. You can even set up a, around a church, you can set up timed functions. Uh, so maybe if you want this in your foyer and you want to have lights automatically turn on at 9 a.m. And in case someone forgets, it'll automatically dim them down, you know, whenever church is over. You can have a lot of cool things that you can program into here. I even set this up in my room for a little while to make a uh, LED tape alarm clock just to see how it would be like. So I had LED tape running around a bunch of different parts of the room. And when my alarm is ready to go off, it will fade into the color so I can wake up naturally. And if I don't wake up on time, it would start flashing. There's a lot of really cool things you can do uh, through QLC. Finally, I wanted to be able to put all these concepts together. I wanted to be able to have QLC control things wirelessly, uh, but also be able to get signals from a lighting computer. So in this case, I've got Magic Q set up on my laptop. Uh, and I want to be able to have priorities set up on those. The idea being that you could do something like maybe, again, let's say you've got your entryway to the, to the church, you've got some pre-programmed lighting on there, which is cool, but maybe you want to do something neat where you can control it for a special event. You can just pipe in um, through your Ethernet cable and then take over uh, with control. There's a lot of neat things you could do with this, uh, and my first thought would be you could even have the Raspberry Pi control your house lighting in your church so that maybe in the morning when the cleaning crew or the pastor comes in early before the lighting tech, if they want to turn the lights on so they can do things in the sanctuary, you could potentially have a little panel with this built into it, have some preset lighting that you can click on with buttons, and then once the lighting engineer comes in, uh, he or she turns on the lighting computer. Once that creates a, a connection with the lights, now the uh, lighting computer takes over. You see it takes less than five seconds to switch. Now this is being controlled by, in this case, Champs' Magic Q. 
at the end of the day, when the lighting computer gets turned off, the signal gets cut, and again, less than five seconds, it switches back to being controlled by the Raspberry Pi using QLC. So there's a lot of really cool little fun projects you could do with this. You can set up a MIDI controller and control your lights that way. Uh, there's you could you could potentially you know wrap this kind of lighting around your your keyboard or your drum kit. There's a lot of really fun things you can do. So today wasn't so much a tutorial video as a this is what I'm excited by. I would love to know your thoughts and your questions. Have you used Raspberry Pi? Have you done something similar with LED tape? Uh, let me know what you have in mind. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. If you have any really deep questions, you can email me directly at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com. And finally, if your church is based in the U.S. and you need someone to come out and do some training, or you're looking for uh, discounted pricing on audio, video, and lighting equipment, please feel free to email us. You can email us again at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com, and we'd love to help you any way that we can. Until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.